The Mitchell Foundation reached out to us in 2017, interested in exploring public attitudes and opinions about energy development in the Big Bend region. While fewer than six months after the discovery of the gas field known as Alpine High, the Mitchell Foundation was equally interested in opinions about energy development when it came to large-scale solar installations and wind farms. The first phase of the research was to explore the attitudes and opinions of the people who live in the region, in small towns such as Alpine, Fort Davis, and Pecos. What were residents aware of when it came to energy development? How much did they know about what was happening in the region? How did they think it would impact them? What were their concerns? And finally, what were their needs? So in October of 2017, we conducted a series of six focus groups with residents of Alpine, Fort Davis, and Pecos. We followed that up early in 2018 with a statewide telephone survey of 1,000 Texas voters with an oversample of 200 interviews in seven Trans-Pecos counties. This was to ensure that we had a sufficient number of interviews in the counties of interest to be able to comment on them. As we're part of the American Association of Public Opinion Research Transparency Initiative, we'll include a detailed write-up on our methodology with this presentation on our research methodology. On our research methodology with this presentation. So let's first turn to the focus groups. We started with a general question about energy development in the area. Awareness of the awareness of energy development wasn't very high in Alpine. Most of what people talked about there, most of what people talked about there had to do with the construction of the pipeline through the area over the previous couple of years. People also talked about the large scale solar installation on the outskirts of Alpine. Awareness of energy development was higher in Fort Davis, which is closer to some of the oil and gas activity in Reeves County, while residents of Pecos were right in the thick of it and had a lot to say about what they were experiencing, such as earthquakes, impact on wildlife, traffic, road damage, limited supplies of everyday items, and price inflation. As we delve deeper into the issue of energy development, we found people knew more than they were letting on. While they were reluctant to say they were helpless, they certainly expressed feelings of powerlessness. Why? Well, as one resident put it, you know you live in Texas, right? The thinking was, energy is the state's industry. The thinking was, energy is a big industry in the state, and while the general sentiment was that energy development was going to win out Well as, one, well, as one resident put it, you know you live in Texas, right? Energy is the state's industry, and the general sentiment was that energy development was going to win out, as it always has. They also expressed disappointment and frustration with their local governments. Some referencing construction... They also expressed disappointment and frustration with their local governments. Some referencing con corruption. They also expressed disappointment and frustration with their local governments. Some referencing corruption, while others mentioned a lack of talent or simply a lack of representation or resources. They saw conflicts of interest at every turn between the industry and they saw conflicts of interest at every turn between the energy industry, the University of Texas McDonald Observatory, Texas Parks and Wildlife, and University Lands, which is part of the Permanent University Fund, one of the largest university endowments in the United States, benefiting more than 20 educational and health institutions across both the University of Texas system and the Texas A&M University system. As one resident put it, if there's a conflict between energy development and the McDonald Observatory and the risk to dark skies, who do you think is going to win? Same with energy development and Texas parks and wildlife. 
the implication being that representatives of the industry sit within those organizations have and have same with energy development and the Texas same with energy development and Texas Parks and Wildlife the implication being that representatives of the energy industry sit within those organizations and have influence over decision making finally locals blame themselves to some degree for not being more active first in educating themselves on energy development in the area and then getting involved to make sure it doesn't ruin their way of life in the region. So what are they concerned about? They've already seen damage to the infrastructure the closer the They've already seen damage to the infrastructure the closer energy development They've already seen damage to the infrastructure, the closer to energy development, the worse it is. So they fear it will get worse. So they fear it will get even worse. Water is a critical issue. The Big Bend region is home to the Chihuahuan Desert, which according to the World Wildlife Fund, may be the most biologically diverse desert in the world. Water is scarce in the region, and energy development poses a risk in two So what are they concerned about? They've already seen damage to the infrastructure. The closer to energy development, the worse it is. So they fear it will get even worse. Water is a critical issue. The Big Bend region is home to the Chihuahuan Desert, which according to the World Wildlife Fund may be the most biologically diverse desert in the world. Water is scarce in the region and energy development poses a risk in two ways. First, energy development. First, energy development is water intensive. Second, the risk of, second is the risk of contamination from energy development. Residents are also worried about the influx. Residents are also worried with the influx of people. Residents are also worried that with the influx of people comes an increase in crime. Finally, they have experienced price inflation, and for locals not working in the industry, they are worried their purchasing power will take a hit. What do local residents want done about it? First and foremost, better planning. Planning can be an unwelcome bureaucratic word for the independent-minded residents of far west Texas, but they acknowledge that their communities weren't prepared and aren't prepared for the rapid industrialization that accompanies energy development, evidenced by the infrastructure. What do local residents want done about it? First and foremost, better planning. Planning can be an unwelcome bureaucratic word for the independent-minded residents of far west Texas, but they acknowledge that their communities weren't prepared and aren't prepared for the rapid industrialization that accompanies energy development evidenced by the infrastructure damage and traffic on the roadways, which leads into protecting infrastructure, which they saw as in need of urgent repair and upgrades. When it comes to the impact of energy development on land and communities, one Fort Davis resident suggested mitigation plus. As he put it, how about leaving the place better than you found it? What's so wrong with that? Finally, if there is one thing they would like to see benefit from energy development in the area, it's investment in education for the people of the Big Bend region. We went back to the region a little over a year later in December of 2018 and conducted another round of focus groups with many of the same people. We found that news and information about energy development were still in short supply. In the absence of trusted sources of information, People turn to their friends and neighbors and the technological equivalent, Facebook. We found that the energy industry wasn't doing the outreach and engagement that residents expected, if only to offer transparency and peace of mind. Instead, they told us that we were the only engagement activity that had been taking place. We also explored We 
went back to the region a little over a year later in December of 2018 and conducted another round of focus groups with many of the same people. We found that news and information about energy development were still in short supply. In the absence of trusted sources of information, people turned to their friends and neighbors and the technological equivalent and the technological equivalent Facebook. We found that the energy industry wasn't doing the outreach and engagement that residents would expect, if only to offer transparency and peace of mind, and that we were the only ones who were engaging with them on this issue. We also explored what people wanted to retain or protect in the face of energy development, and people have a lot of thoughts on that topic. Communities, natural environment, communities, the natural environment, and water being their top priorities. This community values process is explained in greater detail in the Development by Design video, which is a companion video to this one. We asked if they are seeing evidence or indications of energy development. We knew from the focus groups in 2017 then We knew from the focus groups in 2017 that PECUS was already in the thick of it and feeling the impacts of energy development. As of December 2018, Alpine, the community furthest away from the conspicuous Alpine, the community furthest away from conspicuous energy development, was not really seeing any activity. Fort Davis, on the other hand, was seeing an increase in truck traffic through the center of town, higher rents as well as higher prices generally. While in 2017, our focus group participants were unwilling to say that they felt helpless, that had changed and they were beginning to give voice to that sentiment in 2018. Finally, part of their frustration was that all of this energy development was taking place, but they weren't seeing any of the benefits of it. The energy, be it oil and gas, wind, or solar, was all taking place where they live and being sent elsewhere, but the benefits also were going to others. Now let's turn to the statewide survey that we... All that said, people are asking... All that said, people are optimistic about the respect... All that being said, people are optimistic about the Big Bend. All that being said, people are optimistic about the Respect Big Bend effort. There may there may not be a lot of sources of trusted information but they are hungry for information and they're anxious whatever we can do to provide more information via social media or whatever from established news outlets. They are eager to get involved. They're eager to get involved without even asking everyone in our focus groups signed up to get more information on the Respect Big Bend effort. Further, they think the effort can work. Based on what we described, what our goals are, that you'll see elsewhere on this website, they're encouraged by those efforts and think they can be beneficial in bringing people more awareness and more engagement on energy development issues in the area. Now let's turn to the statewide survey that we conducted in the spring of 2018, a few months after the first round of focus groups. Keep in mind, this is a statewide telephone survey of 1,000 Texas registered voters and another 200 in the region. So this is a... So this is a substantial quantitative research So this is a robust quantitative research study across the state of Texas. Consistent with conventional wisdom and to a large extent economic reality, 
Texans think energy development is good for the state. And they're even more excited by wind and solar development. Overall, 78% think oil and gas development is either somewhat or very good for Texas, while 87% think wind and solar development is either somewhat or very good for Texas. There are certain areas of the state, however, there are certain areas of the state, however, that are special and where people oppose energy development. Two thirds of Texans oppose energy development taking place in Big Bend National Park. A 54% a 54 majority oppose energy development taking place in the Davis Mountains, where the University of Texas McDonald Observatory is located. Half oppose energy development taking place in their own community, and similar proportions oppose energy development along the Texas coastline in Balmeray near Salem in Balmeray near San Solomon Springs and in Hill Country. Why is that? Well, voters have little confidence that oil and gas can be produced while protecting communities and resources. As you can see on the chart on the right hand side of this page, nearly two thirds were confident energy companies could install small scale solar and protect communities, land and resources in that area. And majorities say the same thing about large and majorities say the same thing about large-scale solar farms and wind turbines. But only 29% think energy companies could install oil and gas energy production and also protect communities' land and water in the area. We also asked who has the responsibility when it comes to ensuring energy development has a positive or neutral impact on communities. We also asked who has responsibility when it comes to ensuring energy development has a positive or neutral impact on communities, land, and water, the chart on the left-hand side of the screen. 78% say energy companies have a lot of responsibility. 65% say local government has a lot of responsibility. 47% point to... Seventy-eight percent say energy companies have a lot of responsibility. Sixty-five percent say state government has a lot of responsibility. Fifty-nine percent local government. Forty-seven percent private landowners, and thirty-eight percent local communities. We asked a couple of forced choice questions in the survey to learn where people stand on the issue of energy development. They were patterned after a Gallup organization question that has been asked for years, and as Gallup has done, endeavored, and as Gallup has done, and has, and as Gallup has done, we endeavored to make them as balanced as possible. We asked the first question about Texas, and the second question about far west Texas in particular. The two statements are as follows. The value of protecting communities and land and water resources for future generations outweigh the benefits of energy development in Texas, or the benefits of energy development in Texas outweigh the value of protecting communities, land, and water resources for future generations. 56% in the first question, which is about Texas, it's 56% in the first question, which is the one about Texas. Overall, choose the value of protecting communities and land and water resources for future generations outweigh the benefits of energy development in Texas. When we focus the question more on far west Texas, you can see that support for protecting communities, land and water resources in far west Texas went up to 72%, even if it means limiting energy production there. And the opposite side of the question, we should develop energy supplies, even if it means communities and land and water resources of far west Texas suffer as a result. Only 19% of the, uh, voters chose that. Finally, we asked a question that later became a hot topic in the 2019 Texas legislative session. What about local control? 
which of the following two statements comes closer to your opinion? Cities and towns in Texas should have a greater say about whether and how energy development takes place in their community because local communities are the ones who experience the negative impacts. Or cities and towns in Texas should not have a greater say about whether and how energy development takes place in their community because state regulator because state regulators and private landowners decide where energy projects are located. Only 17% shows that second one. 81% of Texas registered voters think that cities and towns in Texas should have a greater say about whether and how energy development takes place in their community. Thanks very much for listening to this presentation of the public opinion research that we've conducted on behalf of on behalf of the Mitchell Foundation and the Respect Big Ben Coalition. We will um, continue to post, we will post additional public opinion research results as they become available uh, throughout the course of this effort.